Hello guys, so in this video we're gonna uh, explore you know another interesting design in VHDL which is the BCD other. We started in our lectures two designs for that uh, you know application, the BCD other. So the first design is you know straightforward approach. We're gonna use uh, you know uh, or instantiate uh, a four bit binary other. Then the other which is in which is in binary, you know, uh, we 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 can call it a binary number, will be converted with another circuit into BCD. Okay, and in the lecture we uh, we figured out that you know the output here uh, should be five bits, not eight bits. For example, ten, ten is uh, one and zero two digits. The zero is four zeros. And the one is one zero zero zero. So since the the least is you know the most significant three bits are just zero, so the, we will just ignore them, and we just keep the you know uh, the first bit, okay. And the highest number that we can have, which is nineteen, and in the, in nineteen again we have nine and one. Nine is one zero zero one, four bits again. But the one again is one zero zero zero. So in all cases. We can just ignore the uh, the last three zeros, and we have only five bits. That's very nice. Okay, so uh, it's it, we need to design the circuit. We have the full other. Uh, I'm, sorry, I'm sorry. We have the truth table in the in the in the lecture. So by looking at this truth table, we have five outputs and five inputs. So we need to construct five K maps. Each one has uh, thirty two cells in them. Okay. One for C, one for S8, one for S4, one for S2, one for S1. And why is this naming? Because basically this is the third, this is the fourth bit, S8. So two to the power of three, which is eight. Two to the power of four, which is, uh, sorry, two to the power of two, which is four. Two to the power of one, which is two. Two to the power of zero, which is one. And this is just the like case. Okay. So here are the five key maps, as we see on the screen here. This is the key map for S1. Okay, if we, you know, if we explore, go back to the, you know, to the truth table, here is the, the truth table for it. Let me check, yes, this is the truth table. If we look at it here, we just, you know, uh, map these bits to the, uh, you know, to the map here, okay, to this key map. And we have one group, this group has 16 ones, so basically, uh, because we consider some of these, you know, uh, some of these uh, uh, don't care as one. So basically S1 is equal to Z1. So this is Z1 basically, we just connect it to S1. Okay, in, the, in our design in this convergence circuit. Uh, then this is, you know, the case for S2. We will have three groups, the red group, the green group, and the, I'm sorry, the blue group and the green group. Then S4, again, we have three groups. This is S8, and this is C, basically, okay? So that's basically the five groups, the five equations, and we're gonna use that, these five equations in our design. Let's now explore our design. So here is the design. Okay, so in the beginning, we instantiate our rebel carry uh, adder. So we have, I have for it, uh, what? I have for it uh, a package. So uh, I just instantiated this packaging. Okay. Then, uh, uh, since we have here some internal signals, so I defined the five of them. Okay, Z8, Z4, Z2, Z1, and, and the K is a carry of the four bit binary adder. So we have here five signals for these five in wires here. Okay. Good. So uh, now this circuit, this conversion circuit, okay. Uh, I'm sorry, this, uh, this four bit other have an output of the type standard logic vector of four bits and also a carry, okay. So I need to assign for these Z bits the output here. So Z8 will be uh, the, the carry signal. So I am sorry, the S signal, the sum signal, this signal that, uh, that is output from this, uh, from this four bit binary other. This is the output here, and this is the carry key, 
Okay, this is another signal. So Z8 is basically the sum here at three. Z4 is a, uh, the sum signal at two. Z2 is a sum signal at, uh, at one. Z1 is a sum signal at zero. Okay, so basically I considered here the output is called, it's a signal, sum signal I mean, and I, uh, I also defined it here as a signal. Okay, so now Z, I have Z and I have the carry K. So I have all the inputs required, the inputs to construct this convergence circuit. This convergence circuit is basically here in that design, five equations, okay? One for C, one for S8, one for S4, S2, S1. So let's check that. So uh, basically if we, uh, C is, if we go back to our, so let's now get back here with our design, C is, Z8, Z4, or Z8, Z2, or C. I'm just writing the equation, that's it. Uh, S1 uh, uh, or S of zero, because basically, you know, uh, the output here, I, 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 I defined it as uh, a standard logic output, you know, a vector with four bits. So S of zero uh, is basically uh, S1 here, which is equal to uh, Z1. Then S uh, uh, of one, which is basically S2 here, is you know just this equation. So I just constructed the equation, this equation in here. Okay. And this is basically K bar, not, not just the K. So let me uh, you know correct this for you. This is K bar, not K. Which is basically the red, you know, the red uh, group here. Okay, let's go back to this guy. So this is S2 and, you know, I'm gonna do the same for uh, S4, which is S of two, uh, then S of three, which is S8, then I, uh, here is the carry here, okay? Just five equations. That's it, I mean, it's really simple. So uh, now let's, you know, test this circuit. Here is the test bench for it. Okay, test bench is really simple one. You know, I will not go on over these details if you want to understand them. This is basically very similar to what we, you know, taken in the last, all the last lessons, okay? But I just want to highlight some, some note here. So this was basically a copied and pasted from my binary other design, okay? Uh, I just make one change because these two inputs, A and B here, are basically BCD numbers. So BCD numbers should be from zero to nine only. Okay, because four bits in BCD means you are, uh, you, are, you, you are defining number from zero to nine. If you wanna define, for example, 10, in binary 10 will be also in four bits, but in BCD, it will be eight bits. I mean, four and four, and we can just you know, ignore this, the last three zeros, but it will be four zeros and one. 10 in BCD is five bits minimum, okay? The first four bits are zero and then the fifth bit will be one. So I here I did the, you know, the for loop from zero to nine, not from zero to 15, okay? And again for Y, uh, Y start, uh, G, I'm sorry, J, J is starting from uh, I to nine also, not 15 because again, B is also another BCD number, okay? Uh, and again, why, why? Because why I am starting from I, not from zero for J? Because not to repeat cases. I know that zero plus, uh, zero plus, uh, zero plus one is, is, is one from the first case. Then when, when I becomes one, or you know, the first input here, A becomes one, no need to make one plus, to test the case one plus zero again. We can start only for, uh, we can just start from one plus one because we already did zero plus one and zero plus one is just equal to one plus zero, okay? So that's basically, you know, the test bench. Now let's simulate it. Here is the test bench for it. Again, this modification is, you know, just so you can just ignore it. It's just uh, some spaces or something. 
Okay, now uh, let's highlight the output with different color, like yellow, for example. Also the carry. Okay, now uh, uh, we have, you know, uh, around 100 case. And let's see, yes, let's also change the radix to unsigned. We need also to make some uh, zoom out. Let's now check zero plus zero is zero, zero plus one is one, zero plus two is two, until zero plus nine is nine. One plus one is two, one plus two is three, one plus three is four, until one plus nine is 10. And the 10 in BCD is, uh, you know, uh, would, would be converted as one zero. Zero is four zeros. That's why the sum here is, is, is zero. Then uh, the carry here, which is uh, the fifth bit will be one. Okay, this will represent one, one zero in, in BCD. Then the two, two plus two is four, two plus three is five, until two plus eight is 10. 10 in BCD again is four zeros and one. So the sum is zero and the carry is one. Two plus nine is 11. 11 is one and one. One in the sum, so one, zero, zero, zero. Then one here to represent the second digit in the 10. Okay. Again for three, until, so we have three plus three, six, uh, three plus four is seven, three plus five is eight, three plus six is nine, three plus seven is 10. Uh, 10 is four zeros and one, uh, three plus eight is 11, 11 is one and one, three plus nine is 12. 12 is two in the sum and one in the cap. Okay, until we reach here, for example, eight, eight plus eight is 16. 16 is, uh, is basically, uh, uh, six and also one. Okay, so we have here zero, one, one, zero, then one again. Okay, six, eight plus nine is 17. 17 is one, 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 zero, then one again in the carry. And finally, eight, uh, nine plus nine is 18. 18 is basically, uh, eight, 18 is basically, uh, you know, uh, eight and, and again one. So eight is uh, zero, 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 one, and then the one. That's why the sum here is one and the carry is one, okay? One little, you know, uh, you know, minor, uh, you can say change here that I did, is that I consider that the maximum input is eight bits. So if we go back to the, to the our, uh, so I am considering here the maximum input is nine and always, always, the four bit binary other taking input carry is zero. Okay, remember guys, the first full other inside is this design, which is a four bit other. Let's check if I have, yeah. So in the, in the other, in the binary other, the first full other here takes always a carry uh, of zero in the, in just the full, in the normal full other. So that's why uh, I am considering here the input, the input carry is always zero. That's why the maximum is 18. If you can control this and you can do that, you can create a package in which the input carry can be zero or one. So you can use that, uh, for example, to make uh, binary other, which at, and at that time we should put zero as input as this carry. Or if you wanna make subtraction, you should implement some inverters for B to implement B bar and put at that carry input one. So here I am in considering this, this is a four bit binary other and always the carry input is zero. That's why the maximum that I can reach is 19, nine plus nine. But if you have this uh, carry input uh, and you can control it, then you could you could add one to this carry input and that time, so it will be eight plus nine plus nine plus one, which, which will be 19, okay? That's the only difference between the design here and the design that was, uh, you know, in the book. Okay, guys, that's basically, you know, the first design of the BCD other. And in the next video, we're going to explore another smarter and design for this BCD other. Thank you very much for watching this video and see you in the next video. Bye-bye.